so beautiful here, she says. This moment now, and this moment now. And I never thought I would find her here. Flannel and satin, my four walls transform. On November 25th, 2011, voice actor Dan Green's wife, Michael, passed away shortly after giving birth to twins. For the longest time, Dan and Michael had been trying to become parents. It was Michael's dream to one day raise children with Dan, and for this miracle to finally happen, only for Michael to be denied the chance to live to see it through with her husband is beyond tragic. Dan has now been left to raise the twins alone. It is perhaps the worst fate to befall some of the best people, but there is still hope. Thousands upon thousands of friends and fans alike have been rallying to support Dan and the twins in their time of need. Websites like the Dan Green Guestbook have been created specifically with the interest of raising money and support for the family. If you want to donate directly to Dan Green, we do implore you to visit this website and send whatever you can. We have been given permission by Dan Green's close friends and family to begin our own charity fundraiser. With help from some of our friends who are more than willing to help out, we have begun over a dozen auctions, each aimed at helping Dan raise his children and give them all the future they deserve. The money from each auction will be sent directly to the Dan Green Guestbook. If you feel you cannot afford to bid on any of the auctions, whatever little you can give can still be sent directly to the Dan Green Guestbook website. So please, keep this in mind if you want to give anything at all. The links to all of the auctions can be found in the video description below. First of all, we have three cards, each depicting the main Yu-Gi-Oh characters in one shape or another. Yujo Friendship, Judgment of the Pharaoh, and Unity. Secondly, we have the entire Season 2 box set of Yu-Gi-Oh on DVD. This spans seven discs and almost 50 episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is a must-have for fans of the original show. Third, we're going to be auctioning off the chance to choose a song for Little Karibo to parody. The winning bidder can choose any song they want, and as long as there's an instrumental version available, he will write and record a Yu-Gi-Oh theme parody based on it. Fourth, Lovely Metalhead has donated six hand-sculpt custom-made figurines of the characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh manga from when they were playing the Dark RPG. Lovely Metalhead has also offered six plushy heads of the cast of the video Neko Porno, another charity video. Both of these item sets are fragile and for display purposes only. They are not children's toys. Next, Taimanaku has donated two gorgeous pieces of art based on the Yu-Gi-Oh! villain gallery. They will both be printed on 10 by 12 inch glossy cardstock. Next up, Katia Noctis has offered volumes 1 and 2 of the Millennium World manga in English, and Stinkulous Redis has donated volumes 30 and 32 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga in Japanese. One Kids Entertainment is offering three TV guides, each featuring characters from Yu-Gi-Oh! on the cover. Hiroko is putting together a poster featuring Yami Yu and his classic monsters. The finished piece will obviously feature more detail. Frozen Yogurt 3 has crafted two small Marikan Bakora Shrinky Dinks. I personally own one of these sets and I can assure you that they're as well made as they are adorable. Kerbifer has offered up the chance to win a commission from him. For more examples of his work, check the appropriate link in the description. These next auctions were donated by Haru, Nemo, and Pigmon. The first features four minifigures of the main Yu-Gi-Oh cast and some of the cutest scapegoat plushies based on the dual monsters of the same name. The second auction is for these awesome key chains, featuring Yami Merrick, Pegasus, Yami, Kaiba, and Yami Bakura. Their third and final auction is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time promotional tie-in set, and an additional set of three protagonist keychains. Also, the winner of this auction will receive a fourth surprise character keychain. The last auction, and by no means least, is a custom design belt by Team Four Star's own Takahata 101. Takahata has crafted a series of belts for his fellow abridgers in the past, and they're all of the highest quality. Taka is offering the chance for one person to pick a word of their choosing, for example, awesome or hardcore, and they will have that word featured on a title belt. So they could be holding the awesome championship or hardcore championship, depending on what word they choose. This is obviously a special item and could take up to three weeks for Taka to bank. However, the time it takes to make is well worth the bragging rights. Once again, all the money raised from these items will go straight to Dan Green and will go towards making his future and the future of his children a brighter one. Thank you.